how I made the decision to become a solo artist and I, I began uh, looking on um, uh, in different uh, little music magazines people would put ads in for singers and I started working with different people all over the city um, but it, it just wasn't really nothing was really happening and again they always wanted to be in a band situation and I just did not want to be in a band situation so um, I started about at 22 23 I started dating this man and he was a music manager a mid-level music manager but he knew things and um, he didn't think that I was actually talented enough to manage but he would advise me. He would give me some advice when I would ask him questions, you know. So um, all I know is that I, I really wanted to do this. And um, so at the time, you know, I had become friends with uh, Danny from Wax Tracks Records in Chicago, which was the premier industrial label and he was so great and he was so nice to me and um, he said you know if you want you can come to the wax tracks offices and raid the vault they had this thing called the vault which was like a ginormous closet with just thousands of different artists you know all the artists on wax tracks and 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 12 inches and CDs and so it was like Christmas you know and so I I just piled on all these CDs and and I came across this one it was a 12 inch and it was of the artist or the project was called 1000 homo DJs and I played it and I heard the voice I heard this voice and it was like I had an epiphany this voice was so haunting to me and I, all I knew is that that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do music like this person was doing. I wanted to deliver a performance like this person was delivering. It turned out that this person was Trent Reznor and he had a band called Nine Inch Nails. And so I went to the stores and I bought every single Nine Inch Nail record I could get my hand on and I studied them. I studied all the records backwards and forwards. I just studied, studied, studied this music. And I went back to my music manager boyfriend and I said, this is what I want to do. And so he said, all right, I know a couple people in Chicago that I might be able to hook you up with, see maybe if they want to write a couple tracks with you. So, I met with Howie Benno and yeah, Howie Benno. 